This is Greg with 31 Events. Thanks for stopping by. Today is Sunday, October 18th. I'm going to take you over some um, pre-release content screen scrapes uh, from an exercise I did yesterday. I basically have taken uh, some of that content and repurposed it into about 15 slides or so for the pre-launch of Power Bar by Calendar Snack. Uh, which is something we've been working on or chipping away on for a while. I'm going to take you through uh, this content and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, that said, this is predominantly for someone that's been using the calendar snack. If you're not using the calendar snack, hopefully it makes some sense. But essentially uh, what Power Bar is, is for um, multi-event reporting and then multi-event uh, landing pages. So with that said, let's just dive in and take a peek. Um, so here are two screenshots from the um, Power Bar homepage, as we call it. You'll see the home button here at the top. And essentially we have a card version and a list version. It's just a simple toggle button here in the interface. You'll see basically your uh, calendar snacks all um, aggregated and filtered in one place. Um, we basically uh, do a search reference based on your um, email address. Uh, we call it, or some people call it organizer. Uh, industry calls it organizer. Uh, we just call it email address. So whatever email address you're using, um, we're going to go out and search for that email address and gather all the previous calendar snacks into one easy interface. So Calendar Snacks free to use, uh, Power Bar will be a paid for uh, product. Uh, when the product is completed, we'll have a button up here in the Calendar Snack interface. That'll take you over to Power Bar. All you're gonna be able to do there is essentially uh, put in whatever email address that you're using the Calendar Snack with, hit the Power Up button, and you'll see that uh, you'll be uh, generated into this interface here, the Power Bar homepage. Here at the top where the red arrows are, uh, you'll see the home page, and then all your snacks in one place in a multi-event dashboard. In this case here, it's Greg at TechVader. Um, it will be in card or list form here. Here are two active cards I'm gonna take a peek at here. This particular one, the GoToWebinar one, is actually our example. And so this represents the multi-event dashboard. Um, the power bar, home card is here. When you click to go to an event here by this red arrow or um, the ninth representation of basically um, this fall along, so four, five, six, seven, eight, and then here we are at nine. When you click here and go to event, you're going to basically dive into the individual calendar snack. Um, that individual calendar snack we go out and find for you. You can actually use that then, um, if in fact your event's still active, and use all the good things of a calendar snack in which you can basically grab the code for landing pages, web, web embeds, um, bulk sends, um, and then the RSVP button itself. So here is a calendar snack crate. Um, if you're using calendar snack, you'll understand what this is. This is the calendar snack send as we move over. Uh, this here is a new interface we'll be releasing here in a few days. Um, the RSVP buttons are in there for MailChimp, ConvertKit, and Clavio and SendGrid. They're all pre-built. You grab those codes and you insert those into your email templates. Uh, somebody clicks the button, um, they receive the calendar invitation and we track that with the reporting engine. So uh, we're still in the individual calendar snack interface. You'll see that we have ready-made landing pages here in the lander page or calendar lander page. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to. But in this landing page, we're going to have four pre-built buttons um, in the um, power bar itself. So these are ready-made URL calendar landing pages. Um, we do the same with the web page embed code. You just embed this code here. Uh, into a web page. These are nice because they're pre-built. This one here is showing basically the dark blue one. That's an auto-populate when you grab this grab-and-go code. Um, this is a reference URL that you can use right out of the chute. Just takes a few minutes to use. 
So this is the power bar home. Again, I'm back at the home. And then I'm taking you through what it looks like in list version. So um, the toggle switch at the top um, would allow you to go into list version. And then when you drill into a particular snack, as is this one here, you'll see it shown here in detail form at the calendar snack create level. So this is the power bar interface. This is the calendar snack interface over here. So essentially this is the same, kind of running you through the same modality or workflow. Um, this is calendar snack for this event under create. This is calendar snack send up here at this button uh, to grab your grab and go RSVP buttons here to insert into uh, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Klaviyo, or SendGrid. And then um, the individual calendar snack grab and go buttons for landing pages and web page embeds. Um, you see here that this one's green. I copied and pasted it. It's right here, nice and clean. So with that said, um, under Power Bar Home uh, will be the send button as well. So there, there is a difference obviously between the individual calendar snack here, you have home create send count, and here in the power bar, um, we have home send and count. So that is uh, a different workflow. And under send, when I go here from 22 to 23, this send button essentially becomes our landing page for multiple events. It's the same kind of workflow where you grab the code and then you insert it into a browser and you're going to get this, which is your last 25 events for a multiple event landing page. When someone puts their email address here, I have Tom at TechVader, and hits RSVP, they will receive the individual calendar invitation, in which we track with the RSVP engine on the back end for reporting. So this is not a subscribe engine. It's a individual uh, calendar invite uh, auto-generated multi-event page um, that essentially we've invented here through streaming technology. So here's what happens. Uh, the invite sent to Tom at TechVader. Um, this, when you click the button, sends the calendar invitation like this. And if you're using the calendar snack, you know we track the individual calendar receipts uh, with our reporting engine. And this is kind of the wrap up. Uh, when you do purchase um, PowerBar, you're going to see all the collective data for all your calendar snacks in one clean interface. You'll see here that um, I'm streaming the last 100 events. That's just a filter. I actually have several hundred events here. Um, but here are all the events Greg has sent. Here's the number of RSVP received, essentially communicating with individual calendar clients, customers downstream. Um, here's the percentile of um, RSVP response rate. Um, and then we collect all this data here. Um, basically, we call it channel tracking for the calendar invitations themselves. So uh, we have a bulk feature where um, uh, we have in prototype. Um, you'll see that in the next demo here in the next couple of weeks or so. But we're tracking bulk landing pages, MailChimp. Uh, we track test. Uh, Multi-event is the, the multiple event landing page or the ME lander. And then we're doing single sends and web forms and share down here. Um, this all comes over here between 28, 29, and 30. 30 is the last uh, modal here, modal card. And basically, uh, it's a total summary of RSVPs received and then what uh, people have said yes, no, and maybe to. Uh, that's a wrap up. Thanks for stopping by here on a Sunday. And I appreciate uh, you uh, being a fan of our technology. Thanks again.